Hi Pisces, welcome back guys. I hope you all are doing well. This is going to be for anybody with Pisces placements in that chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the rows, take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation guys. Um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. Okay, and please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platform. Alright, let's tap in Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you all. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Let's see, Pisces. What's going on for Pisces, Spirit? Framed. Mm. Being set up, false accusations, not as it seems, placed in a web of lies. Oh boy, ascension, spiritual awakening, rising above, mundane, spiritually evolving, path to enlightenment, opportunity popped out, chance, new growth, special occasion, new possibilities. Mm. And then we have unplug, disconnecting, limiting distractions, social media break going MIA. Freedom, bottom of the deck, liberation, letting go of restrictions, breaking free, releasing attachments. So I feel like you have some new and exciting things coming in for you, Pisces. Okay. Um, somebody looks like, it looks like somebody was tricked out their spot. All right. I'm with you, I'm going to be honest. All right. And you're just ascending past all of it. Because the best is yet to come here for you. Yeah, your karmic justice. Somebody being blocked here. <clears throat> or you're blocking somebody out. You having to defend yourself from somebody because of the action that they took or whatever the fuck they did. So let's see what is framed here. What is framed? The moon, the eight of swords. Hmm. What is framed and, um, for Pisces? Three of Swords, child. What's framed with the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords? Mm. Mm, what's that? Ten and three, that's 13, child. Something is over. He'll be dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Saturn. So I can have Libra, Saturn placement. So yeah, there's a harsh betrayal. There's a harsh ending here. Something could have ended abruptly between you and somebody. This person could have put you in a third party. They could have involved you with an ex of theirs or whatever the case. Um, maybe somebody, because they had such a broken heart when they met you or whatever the case may be, they didn't take you serious or they were, they weren't taking you serious here. And so they let this third party get in the way of something. Child, what's the three of swords? Somebody is really hurt. <laughs> yeah, look at the death card. Three, two, three on the clock. I just saw on the timer I meant <laughs> the death card. Something is over, over. It is over. Someone is really heartbroken. I feel like everybody in the situation is heartbroken. But you're maybe the only one that knows how to transmute the pain and move forward. All right, but what's the Ten of Swords? <clears throat> so you're going through a death and rebirth, yeah. King of Swords, child, go watch Gemini's reading. Okay, Gemini's reading had me crying. <clears throat> it was just so sad. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, though. What's the... Who this King of Swords? King of Cups? You could go watch Gemini's reading. Could be dealing with a, maybe Scorpio, too. This person is really concealing their feelings for you. They're hiding some sort of truth. Definitely their feelings. I feel like they're hiding some sort of betrayal too. They're trying to act like everything is so cool. Oh, excuse me. Or like they're unbothered or like, I feel like their head went over their heart. Yeah. Let me write something down before I forget.
Okay, sorry. So let's see. Um, yeah, this person here, they made some sort of logical decision. They took some sort of logical approach to something. And I feel like <clears throat> they just fucked up. I don't know what the fuck, but now they got feelings for you though. This person here. Mm -mm, give me more than the King of Swords. Yeah, the fool. So you could be breaking free from this person, leaving this person behind. Could be an Aquarius. Or they breaking free from a situation now. But I don't know if it's too late for them to come back or not, child. But um, something here ended. For some of you, there's a divorce. There's a divorce taking place. So this third party could be the one sad or whatever the fuck. But this person sees the truth now about a situation. So they could be trying to come towards you for a new beginning. But I feel like they recklessly did something. They they went towards something else. And with this major here, I feel like it was meant to happen. It led, it led right into a fucking ten of swords situation. Something that they did. They played themselves, really. Mm. What's uh, Ascension? Child, I'm so worn out from crying. Or maybe that needed to be released. Yeah, the King of Wands, Leo Energy. What's the ascension here with the King of Wands? Four of Wands and the Will of Fortune. So Aries Venus here. We got Sag with the Will. That could be looked at as you two Pisces. So Sag Pisces. Um, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. So I'm definitely getting a graduation for you. Okay, you've achieved something. So you should be very proud of your achievements here. You've leveled up. Or you took the action that you needed to take to really grow and mature okay and i feel like there could be stability coming in there's a celebration some of you guys could be even getting a new home um you could be meeting a king of wands you want to see who that is but something is really growing okay somebody taking action either you are or this is a yeah some of you guys could be moving in with somebody soon maybe not yet but soon there's there's a des there's a soulmate coming in. Will of Fortune is destiny. I mean, uh, it is destiny. It's fate. It's cycles of life. But it could be a soulmate. Definitely good karma coming through. Good karma coming in. Who this King of Wands? Some of y'all could be getting married. Okay, yeah, the High Priestess. Who the King of Wands with the High Priestess? the four of swords so healing resting recovering regrouping some of y'all are really gonna be trying to listen to your intuition when it comes down to this person or this person could be very intuitive too you can have some sort of psychic bond with them someone could have a libra jupiter Somebody's going to show you with their actions that they want you. You're going to be probably overthinking it or it's going to stress you out because you're not used to somebody taking action because this person did, did not. They didn't do a damn thing. They didn't do nothing. So, yeah, look, the star, the ace of cups, the ace of pentacles. <laughs> okay, there's going to be some sort of solid foundation being built with somebody. And this person, they're going to take action. They, I don't know, they're very assertive. They could be very nice looking too, whoever the fuck this is. <laughs> Um, something is going to attract you in this person. There's going to be a strong attraction to you in this person. Yeah, I just got chills. I don't know. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Star, the Nine of Cups. Yeah, Knight of Cups. There's wish fulfillment coming in. There's definitely wish fulfillment coming in. It's coming. But I feel like you, you're going to be kind of like in your head about it because you're not going to be used to whatever this is you're getting. All right, this could be somebody in your community. They could live near you, which is nice, right? I know for me personally, please, I want my boo to be near me. <laughs> I don't want them to be far away. I cannot do the long distance. I don't know. It's just not. Mm -mm. What's the four of wands? But I mean, if it had to be done, it had to be done. But what's the four of wands here? Yeah, look, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody getting a new house, a new car. Um, meeting new people where you could build solid foundations with these people. Yeah, six of wands. Okay, something is going to be nice here. This ace of pentacles is a new beginning, a new opportunity. Okay, like 
Yeah. Some of y'all, I feel like, I don't know why I keep hearing somebody's moving in with somebody. You could be moving in with this person soon or you're thinking about it or something's going to go so fast between you and this person. Y'all going to feel so connected. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, that something's going to go fast. <laughs> I don't know. But let's see. But these are new beginnings. Of, if this is not a person here, this could be, like I said, a new job. This could be um, a new career path, entrepreneurship for you. Um, a raise or promotion with your finances okay just to start fresh i feel like because your ascending spirit is gifting you with things people places things that are in alignment with you what's the will of fortune queen of pentacles four of cups yeah you've been bored and discontent for a while here <laughs> feel like you've been bored you've been tired the will is changing whatever is at a stalemate is changing or is moving out of your fucking life but the Queen of Pentacles, that's Capricorn energy. Yeah, this is stability, security. Maybe for some of you, when you meet somebody, they're going to be getting their shit together. Some of y'all are going, so this person is a leader. They're a visionary. They're going to either help you with your work or they're going to fucking... Um... You're going to really like them or something. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to get somebody that's going to show you consistency, dedication. All right. Sometimes I see the wand. See the, I said see the wand. Sometimes I see the king of wands as like, they could be a bit ego driven. But I just feel like this is going to be a healthy, I don't know. Something's going to be healthy about this connection. All right, and just because I say healthy doesn't mean that there's not going to be disagreements, a little argument here and there. It's like, that's healthy. Oh, <laughs> you argue with your person, you care about them. Not all the time I mean that, though, so don't beat me up in the comments. But y'all know a healthy argument, a healthy dispute. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, yeah, I don't know. Whatever, whatever you're discontent with or dissatisfied with. I feel like there's something that you're just not giving a fuck about anymore. You're really apathetic towards it. Something from your past. Spirit is changing that for you because you deserve better, period. Yeah, you're going towards it too. Yeah, look. Keep seeing this Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There could be a cross watcher watching for a Pisces. <laughs> okay, but you're definitely moving into wish fulfillment. You're going to get what you want. It just might not be what you thought it was going to be at first. Yeah, somebody got tricked out. They spot over here. Whoever the fuck this King of Swords is, King of Cups. So release fears. Release your worries. The hangman with the moon. Okay. Let's see. What else, Spirit? What's opportunity? Chance, new growth. Special occasion, new possibilities. Page of Cups in Reverse. What's the opportunity with Page of Cups in Reverse? Mm. Two of Cups in Reverse. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Damn. Um. So for some of you, somebody's going through some sort of breakup with somebody that's quite jealous or somebody here could be a cheater or abusive for some of you. This person that you're meeting, they could be going through some sort of change too, a transition. They're breaking up because you're new in their life too. You're a new opportunity for them just like they're one for you. It's something, I don't know. I feel like you're getting ready to connect with somebody that's either they're going to help your ascension process or or something. I don't know. But um, the page of Cups in Reverse, two of Cups in Reverse, this is bad news for somebody else possibly. There's like some bad news here. I feel like somebody's like jealous or envious. What's the page of cups in reverse? Uh, two of pentacles. Yeah, that's like juggling or trying to find balance with something. Because there could be somebody like here that's just... Someone could have a problem with their vulnerability. 323 three again. Something is happening. I don't know, but someone could have a Capricorn Jupiter. Somebody could be having problems with their finances. 
that could be what, what it is the issue with their money they could be transitioning somebody could be transitioning or this is you what's the page of cups in reverse with the two of pentacles trying to like find a balance yeah eight of wands mm. well yeah queen of wands ladder. i just knew i was gonna see counterparts i knew it i knew i was gonna see two people that that are fighting to be with each other like whoever this is over here they didn't they lost in the sauce just period this could also be Archangel Michael and your and your spirit team <laughs> saving you, saving the day. They're getting you out of something. <clears throat> but this could be an air sign, Aquarius, and we got Scorpio. Strong Aquarius here. You, this person, I feel like you're done. But I feel like w w when you go into this new partnership with somebody, there's going to be like... You're going to meet this person as they're transitioning. You could be in communication with them currently or they're coming in very fast. Or something's going to grow very fast. But I feel like the juggling is going to be... Now, I don't really get cheating. Because somebody broke up with somebody. Two of Cups in Reverse. They don't even see eye to eye. They, they're done. And that's going to be bad news for whoever this is. Because this person's going to see you as a new opportunity to grow. Just like how they, you're going to see them. You know? But I, I don't really see cheating. I see more so somebody just... Things are fluctuating for them. It could be money. It could be just like juggling life. Responsibilities. It could be a whole bunch of shit. You know? Like... But something is going to move forward here. That's what I feel like. Somebody's going to want to date you. This is this person courting you. Like... This is a victory. A win. A success. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, the Chariot. There's going to be challenges. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of like getting. It's going to be a challenge or rocky. But I feel like you're going to be able to work through it, though. This person's going to be able to offer you something stable, secure because of their actions. They're going to take action to do shit. They're not going to sit back and let shit happen and whatever the fuck. They're actually going to be in masculine energy. They're going to do what they're, they say that they're going to do. What's the Two of Pentacles, Spirit? What is that? For some of you, they're dealing with somebody that's codependent on them or they got somebody around them that's like that, that that they need to like or that they're trying to get away from too. What's the Two of Pentacles? What's the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, the magician, they're trying to manifest finances, money. They could be having a problem with their, their money. Um... Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Someone is trying to take their power back in a situation that they're in in order for this to grow, right? Something. Yeah. So money and shit could be fluctuating. It's up and down. It's up and down. They could be getting, you know, a bit frustrated or just, yeah, it's going to bounce. Whatever this is, the temperance with the lovers, Gemini, we got Sagittarius here. Something is going to balance out because somebody's going to stand up for what they believe in. Seven of Wands and they're going to work for it. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody here is going to save their money. Somebody could be saving for a move. Yeah, the Ace of Wands, the world, the sun. Something, I feel like something between you and somebody is going to work out. I don't know. But I guess you'll see when it, when it comes, shit. What's the Two of Cups in reverse? <clears throat> yeah, Knight of Swords, major changes, transitioning, Six of Swords, Ten of Wands, to start over, start fresh, building a solid foundation, Page of Pentacles with the star. <clears throat> a positive omen. With the Knight of Swords, yeah, Gemini energy. So maybe go watch Gemini's reading. The reading I was crying in. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Two of Wands, Five of Swords, the Chariot. Yeah. Someone is going to be able to defeat something, or this is you. You defeated something because somebody. Right now, I feel like something has power over this person. It's. it's something going on in their life it could be having to do with finances i don't feel like they're cheating i just feel like they are <clears throat> they got some bullshit person around them that's what i'm saying like it could be somebody that's jealous of them or whatever the fuck this is but the knight of swords talks about being a leader 
taking action. Somebody's doing something about a breakup. They're doing something. They're breaking up with somebody. Literally, they're taking action. They're moving to get things done. The Knight of Swords. That's, um, excuse me. Someone that's goal-oriented, they're focused. Really focused here. They... What's this Knight of Swords right here? Yeah, Queen of Cups. The Hangman and the Empress. Oh. Somebody's going to be jealous. Somebody's going to be jealous. Because we got the Queen of Cups, King of Cups over there. <laughs> Whoever this is over here that got set up, they're going to be jealous. They're going to be really mad. They're going to be trying to come in. Because you and this person, y'all don't see eye to eye. I don't know if this is your child's father or this is a counterpart too. It's like, because I feel like you can't have more than one counterpart, especially when one of them act up and they don't fucking fulfill their contract or do what spirit telling they have to do. They're going to be fucking moved out the way and somebody else is going to come in, especially if you're a high vibrational being, you're chosen, you got a purpose here, you're going to fulfill your purpose to regardless. So whoever this is, I don't know, but... They gonna get jealous. What's the <laughs> there? Cause there could be there could be somebody here that's cold towards you. And then there's somebody you have feelings for that could be coming towards you too. This king cups could be that king of wands, but you know whatever. Somebody's gonna be jealous. They're gonna be really jelly. What's the knight of swords with the queen of cups? Okay, yeah, five of cups. Cause you're healing. You're getting over it. You're the one making changes. Okay, so that's you you're you're done with them yeah everything is fine and the lovers like yeah everything is fine i can go towards somebody new spirit is going to send me in a soulmate <laughs> like they're going to send me somebody else to replace your ass period that's just what it is not even to be tit for tat or be funny so that's you that's you making changes definitely something coming towards you fast big changes things are happening you're healing you're getting over something blah 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 so <clears throat> and i feel like quite fast too you could be really impulsive, really impatient. So just take your time, right? Because you could still be grieving this, okay? Just take your time. But there is new possibilities here. A new chance for growth. A new opportunity definitely coming in. All right. So that's you. You're just like, okay, well, you can still... I feel like you still love this person. You care about them. But are you sitting there waiting on them? No, I don't feel like you're doing that. You're definitely not doing that here. Everything is fine. You're moving forward. You got options. Seven of Cups, the, the damn Nine of Cups. I feel like, mm -mm. you've had some sort of breakthrough here. <clears throat> There's going to be some sort of breakthrough in your love life, for sure. For some of you, there's going to be some good-ass sex here. You, you and somebody else are going to have a, a great mental, like, y'all going to be able to communicate with each other without even saying words. Okay, yeah, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. New people to meet, new places to go, new sights to see, like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> And you and this person, y'all not seeing eye to eye, so you're just done. Two of Cups in reverse, you're just breaking up with them. I feel like it's more so energetically. You're just like, no, I'm cutting the cord. Some of you guys, this is a twin, you can't cut the cord. But I feel like since you've grown or you've healed something within yourself, that... Whatever trauma bond or karmic tie that you had to them that needed to be healed when y'all first met is not there anymore because you healed it. Yeah, the temperance. You healed it, so it's blocked because you're continuing to like work on yourself, Eight of Pentacles. You've mastered something that this person has not quite mastered yet, and you're releasing the hangman. So it's just, yeah, the world is over with with that. What's unplugged, disconnecting? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody too, now that I'm seeing it, now that I'm seeing that that's you over here and this is them, this person here, they don't want you to get a new opportunity. They're jealous. They are so jealous. <clears throat> and they could be juggling too. They trying to manifest you. They're very manipulative. They trying to manifest you, but they could have another person that they're juggling. And it's like, no. It's like, no. Yeah, unplug here. We got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What is unplug with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? The Emperor Aries. 
some sort of empire is falling apart. This Ten of Pentacles in reverse is like somebody that fakes their wealth or somebody could be scamming people using your your internet presence. So now they they losing shit. Whoever this is, I don't know what they're losing money. Or just because you, I feel like you um broken free from them or something like that. They're losing something. I don't know what they were doing. What's this Ten of Pentacles in reverse? This could be um, a divorce as well. Some sort of dysfunctional family dynamic. I feel like you've gone, you've gone cold on a particular person. You're not paying attention to their ass. And you've gotten off something about social media is very significant. What's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, yeah, wow. Ten of Cups in reverse. Ten, ten. Something is definitely over. Someone could have a Pisces, Mars. There's a lot of dysfunction. There's a rocky relationship here with somebody's family. Somebody does not get along with their family. Okay, this could be this masculine right here. This could be the person you left behind, but this could be, let's see. Something is really dysfunctional. What's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse? Some sort of instability. Yeah, Seven of Cups. There's like confusion, <laughs> illusions. Where's the where they had multiple opportunities here to do something? They don't have them anymore. Oh, what did I get this for? Aries. Maybe go watch Aries reading where I said somebody was siphoning energy. They were energy harvesting. They're not doing. They can't do that shit no more. Because you've gone MIA or something. Something about your energy leaving or your presence not being there is not helping their little situation out at all. Or because they're, they've are they chosen this kind of situation to be stuck in. And they had you to go and fuck with when they wanted to. And go back to them when they wanted to. They don't have you to go to. So now they should just, they're losing it. It's like they don't... <laughs> They don't have the capacity, the mental and emotional capacity to deal with this family because maybe you were some sort, you were healing to this person. So like if they come towards you and y'all do what y'all do and they'll go back, they'll be able to take it because it's like, well, shit, I'm cool. I'm calm. I'm collected. I went to go get energy from collective, from Pisces. So now I can deal with this shit. They can't deal with it. <laughs> they cannot. I don't, it's something like that. That's definitely energy harvesting. For sure. Yeah, you learn how to transmute energy. Energy work, depletion, restoring self, transmuting energy, rest and recharge. And it says it's all good. Okay, optimism. Glasses half full, keeping their positive outlook, not sweating the small stuff. Yeah, you're, you're done. You're over them. You're moving on. So whatever they were doing, honey, is looking really confusing for them. They they lost. So what's, um, yeah, look. Damn. Somebody could be going to jail. This could be illegal activity too. A family is going down for some sort of illegal activity. Okay. But the Seven of Pentacles is a tower. Whatever somebody was building or waiting for is not working anymore. Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. Something is falling apart. Eight of Swords. The Chariot. Something. I don't know if they was making money off of your name, Pisces, or what they were doing. What's the, uh, what's the emperor, the world in reverse? What's the emperor with the world in reverse? Mm -hmm. Three of cups. Yeah, something failed. What's this word in reverse? The King of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the Hierophant, the damn Justice, the Devil. They scared as hell. Nine of Swords, somebody. Yeah, Five of Wands, something is bad. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it don't look too good. Some sort of business deal or something flopped. And I feel like it's because of you. Like, I feel like you have broken free of something. I feel like this is spiritual. You've broken free of something to where as though your energy, it cannot be 
harvest it anymore or something. And for some of you, you guys could be meeting an emperor your your masculine they could let me see something real quick or this could be i feel like this is some sort of corporation with the like higher ups or these are like people that own businesses or they do something for money i feel like that shit is falling apart what's this what's this three of cups five of wands in reverse yeah conflict ending This person realized that there is no fucking competition here. <laughs> okay. This could be this five of wands in reverse. It's like, like somebody, yeah, somebody don't want to confront you or somebody removing themselves from some sort of drama. have naughty thoughts it says sexually fantasizing about you strong need to be physically near yeah near undeniable sexual desires driven by instincts for some of you somebody was doing like sex magic or something that's what i got for aries i think or scorpio maybe go watch both gemini for sure uh who else i said you got angel numbers and symbols, positive movement forward, <clears throat> divinely guided towards union, multiple messages through different forms. Yeah, then we have Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or have it in your chart. It says, Independ the plus side is independent, pro progressive, altruistic, intelligent, unique, idealistic, and artistic. <clears throat> and then we have the negatives are impulsive, flighty, detached, aloof, rebellious, unpredictable, restless. Yeah, juggling. Mm hmm having too much on their plate, dealing with multiple obligations at one time, unable to make decisions based on confused, confused emotions. What else, Spirit? Mirroring nature. Great source of reflection and growth, willingness to understand and genuinely connect. They show you your deepest fears, insecurities, and shadows through action. Mm-hmm. June 21st to August 5th, summertime. So between June 21st and now, something could be happening. Yeah, a new beginning for you. New beginnings in alignment. Hmm. What else, Spirit? We got Magical Muse, a great source of artistic inspiration and beyond. A lover, a friendly infatuation, or maybe a stranger that one never speaks to never even speaks to so there's somebody significant around you that you're you could be seeing a lot of angel numbers when you're with this particular person this could be new okay yeah forgiveness <laughs> letting go of emotional burdens key to healing and growth and connection acknowledging your feelings and that of your twin yeah for some of you this is a twin here this is a twin flame that I feel like got caught up in some shit. They let their, whatever this is right here. Definitely you could do something online. Somebody here does something with your pictures. I don't know what they do. They could do some sort of magic. They're doing some sort of picture magic. Or they could have sex with somebody else. They, they do something, some sort of magic that they do, bro to manifest off you they don't even need you to be there but you could probably feel them pulling on your energy that's crazy what the fuck i don't know but mm -mm. what else
What else, Spirit? <laughs> Reinvention. Metamorphosis of mind and spirit. Changing oneself into something better. Working on shadow aspect and becoming aware of strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Third party situation. Yeah, juggling. See what I'm saying? Main character or the side piece. Another person got in the way of a relationship. Feeling betrayed and second guessing self worth. Mm. Desynthesize. Emotionally detached due to fear uh, or unwanted behaviors. Feeling numb and suppressing feelings through either drugs, alcohol, or some other addictive behavior. I felt something so strong in my stomach just now. What the hell was that? I don't know, but yeah, somebody here, this person, like I said, whatever is karmic within them, that's where y'all can relate at first. I feel like now you don't because this person here, they're stuck in some sort of mess. Yeah, inner turmoil, wordless. They're stuck in some sort of mess and you're moving forward here. You've healed a certain part of yourself that you can't, you can't relate. They're out of alignment with you, put it that way. There's nothing that this person here, it's like they serve their purpose or something. You don't. You don't need them for anything right now. Or if this is a twin, I mean, they're always going to be around. But if you keep growing and they're not, I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, so we have intuition. Light bulb moments of realization. Direct knowledge from source without irrational, without rational thought. And a deep knowing and understanding without evidence. So your intuition could be getting stronger from June 25th to August 5th. Or you're going to be receiving clarity intuitively about something. What's June 21st to August 5th? What is that? Cycles. <clears throat> Dysfunctional, unstable, hurtful, toxic. Same scenarios keep occurring but unable to learn necessary lessons. Predictable, repetitive cycle of breaking up and getting back together again. Mm. What's June 25th to August 5th? The cycles. Cosmic love. Connected in the 5D regardless of connected in the 3D. Intense or strong feelings that they feel are everlasting, powerful, or otherwise indescribable. Yeah, so throughout this time, you're going to be, you're going to receive messages or downloads about whoever this is that's in this toxic cycle that keeps desynthesizing. Okay, that's not learning. Y'all have a 5D love or something, but it's not 3D and you need both. Okay, so get out of the illusion. All right, because somebody is like, <clears throat> child, bye. What's uh, that's all I can say about that? What's uh, the Aquarius? Who's the Aquarius? Destiny. You are destined to meet strong, unbreakable bond, passionate love, and strong desire, deep inner knowing of divine connection. And somebody's not awakened to a connection because they think it's, it's sex or whatever the fuck this is. They're not awakened. What's Aquarius with the destiny? Or you're going to meet a new, a new person? You're going to meet an Aquarius or something? Yeah, breaking barriers. Yeah, look, unawakened. Realizing the truth with the understanding you must push forward with the connection. Removing obstacles that resulted in cultural differences, family situations, or sexual orientation, etc. What else for this Aquarius? Maybe leaning towards yes. What else for the Aquarius? Courage. Okay, something about this Aquarius. Yeah, infatuation, surrender. Chaser. Unwillingness to, I mean, willingness to confront agony, pain, danger, uncertainty, or intimidation. Strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear, or difficulty. So it's something either you have Aquarius in your chart or your person does. Somebody could be Aquarius, Pisces, Cusper. What's this intuition? Divine Feminine. Hmm. What's this intuition with the Divine Feminine card? 
Tomatoes. Chaser. Mm, what's going on with you, Divine Feminine? What else for this intuition with the Divine Feminine and Chaser? Or oh, this could be you coming, coming into some sort of awareness about yourself. Yeah, magical and powerful. New beginnings and alignment. Taking action towards destiny. Ooh, we got destiny up here with this Aquarius. Whoever this is. Creator of own reality through powers of manifesting. So your intuition could definitely be stronger here. They're, you're gaining more power here. Spirit is like giving you more. They're like handing you more gifts. Because, <laughs> I mean, you haven't you haven't abused them. It seems like your intuition could be a, could be a lot stronger around this time. Okay, but there's some sort of new beginning. There's some sort of new beginning you're you're having. Maybe look at where Aquarius is at in your chart too. If you have Aquarius, look at where Aquarius is at in your chart. All right, look at what planet it's under. But there's going to be something significant around this time. I don't know. With the cycles, it's something that's going to... Something about dysfunction. Dysfunctional, like, cycles, unstable, hurtful, toxic. Same scenarios keep occurring, but unable to learn necessary lessons. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. But let me know in the comments how this resonated, okay? Like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Excuse me. Oh, I got to stretch. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you guys will miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.